Christians have been admonished to embrace the life of forgiveness and love towards one another. This is in commemoration of the sacrifice Jesus Christ made on the cross for humanity. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olubobokun reports that there was also a procession showcasing the passion of Christ. Parishioners gathered for usual service on a day like this. There is a reflection of the cross which entails the seven last words of Christ before his death. The presiding priest admonishes all to emulate Christ's virtues even at the point of death, which includes forgiveness and love. Even as he was wrongfully accused, convicted and tortured, Jesus asked God to grant mercy unto his persecutors. Are there people from whom we need to seek forgiveness? Think about how forgiveness could free your heart and help you move forward. The station of the cross which begins from the first fall that Jesus had while carrying the cross is displayed. Speaking on the essence of the day, the parish priest, Father Francis Ike, notes that Christ's death is to remind all of his selflessness towards mankind. My message to people is that in suffering, we must continue to stand by God. Even Jesus in the face of suffering, as man, he wished that the cross, the cross could pass over him. But again, he said, not his will, but the will of his Father. In the cross, there is salvation, as we say, in cruce salus. So whatever we are going through in life, whatever difficulty we are going through in life, let us not see all the difficulties as a terrible end. Some difficulties yield a better fruit. Parishioners also add this to say. The only way for you to make heaven is for you to obey the teachings of God, follow the teachings of Christ, and above all, walk in this vineyard. What I want to do in return is that I'm begging him for the grace so that I live out the life of love he lived, to love others like the way he loves, to be able to forgive and to make sure there is love, peace and unity. As Christians, we're supposed to take today very seriously, think about the sufferings of Christ, the life he lived on earth, we should imbibe all that he did and taught us, live a good life, and as much as possible, as human beings we are not perfect, but live by the commandments which he gave us. The many ears bedeviling the world may have set people against each other. Here in Nigeria, as the next administration prepares to step in, citizens are urged to be patient with one another and make things right for the sake of humanity. Emmanuel Olububokun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.